wanted to uh, show you the video on how the aquaponics system actually works. The ice is making a little bit of a problem down there. But as you can see where the holes were, that's where the water drains to. So let's do it again. And so right now it's about uh, 20 some odd degrees, so everything's frozen of course. But uh, as soon as you put on that 90 degree elbow, it starts to suction a lot better. So we have to wait till whatever the height is of the standpipe before it'll start that suction. see the, uh, the holes on the bottom of that one. This will be the uh, sandpipe height, so we should have another inch or two um, above where the actual wall will be over there. See it's getting a little closer. And if it leaks, um, it doesn't matter because everything is going right back into the tank. Um, I'll probably try and position it that way so that it'll work out like that. And so everything's regulated with that flow. Uh, realistically, it's going to be a lot less. It's going to be slower. And then as soon as I can see that it's actually started, I'm going to turn off the water. And so when it starts, it's where that, that standpipe is located. Water has started going down into it. As long as the flow is um, fast enough, it'll trigger that vacuum and drain it all the way to the bottom. Usually it takes a little bit to get it going. And I'll probably put some, uh, some four, four by fours on top of here, probably get some 10 footers. Uh, to raise this up and I'm going to probably put two grow beds on each side and this tank will be kind of in the middle of that so we've s you can see that it's started as soon as it starts to get into an actual flow we'll turn it off and we'll watch it drain all the way into the bottom and you'll notice it kind of does a little bit and then all of a sudden it just starts pouring down water like that right there. So now it started the vacuum. And if we just let it run, it will drain everything to the bottom of wherever the bottom of that is. Assuming the ice doesn't plug it up right there. And that's how it works. So it's pretty simple. Um, before I used ball valves right here and it's so hard to get um, to change the flow on an easy timetable or an easy way. So with this second build I've just upgraded to this uh, hose bib right there, which screwed into, I think this is three quarter inch pipe that's running from the pump down there. Three quarter inch pipe to a 90, 90, and then a male fitting into this hose bib. 
So as soon as it gets some air in there, it's going to break the suction and it's going to stop the flow. And you can kind of hear it as it's doing that. So if your flow is too fast, it'll never break that suction and it'll keep cycling over and over. But you want it to stop and then raise, hit that stand pipe in the middle, drain all the way to the bottom, stop, raise, and so on. Just over and over and over. And if we cheat a little bit, it stops the su suction. So that's how it'll function overall. Um, I'll do another video when it's completely done. Put some lava rock in here. We'll have to wash all that. And it might be a few months while I wait for it to warm up past the winter. So thanks for watching.